This is pretty awesome. The hustle of the holiday. This office resembles Santa's workshop. And how many have you wrapped so far? A lot. Lots more to go. The warden at North Fork Correctional Center presented his staff with a Christmas challenge. He said, do you think you can spend $3,000? And I said, hello, yes. She took that cash to the nearest superstore and spent every penny. I had like five carts crammed full plus a little flatbed, and this is the result of everything. When I was told who was given the money, um, I was impressed. Uh, I, I don't think I expected it. Some of the 2,200 inmates here saved and donated that money. Several thousand dollars earmarked for underprivileged families in surrounding communities. We're in prison and we're doing our time paying for the things that we've done in our past, but that we still have something to give and that we still are people with heart that want to see, especially children, so that we take a little and we can turn it into a lot. So come on in. One of this year's recipients is Action Associates. This nonprofit meets the physical and spiritual needs of battered women and their children in four western Oklahoma counties. It touches my heart and I'm so thankful because you become emotionally involved with these women and you hear their story and the trauma they've been through and Yes, it, it makes you feel good to know that you can be a bright spot for them. This year, there is considerable need for assistance. And so I made a list. Checked it twice. Yes, <laughs> and uh, gave it to them and they, they gave them Christmas gifts. 26 women and 53 little boys and girls will receive toys, blankets, hand-knitted mittens and scarves, and a mountain of other gifts to place under their Christmas trees. I hope they enjoy it and feel as blessed as I did shopping for them as they are getting them. For just one day, the men here at North Fork hope their past is forgotten and their present remembered. Who could have imagined prison would be a source of so much Christmas joy?